This is the reason why you should never flush a spider down the toilet. I've heard that some spiders can hold their breath or retain oxygen underwater for hours or even days. And after finding another black widow in my house, I figured this would be a good time to test out that theory. How long can a spider hold its breath? Oh yeah, really quick, this is probably the time I should give the little disclaimer. No actual humans or animals were injured during the filming of this video. That is, except for the Black Widow Spider. He's freaking dead. Or is he? So we started with one venomous Black Widow Spider, a jar full of water, and about three hours of spare time to make sure he was good and drowned. We started this experiment out simple. We put the spider in the water, made sure there was enough water in there, made sure he was submerged, and then we observed what happened. As you can see, he had plenty of air bubbles. Or should I say, she had plenty of air bubbles? But that really isn't breathing underwater. That's just trapped air and then breathing it. And then to every life, storms and turbulence appear. So we had a quick typhoon, whoosh, 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 we made sure the spider was good and drowned. Well, we thought it was. In addition to being good and drowned, we made sure we had good swirling action so the water spun around to simulate being flushed down a toilet. Well, a three hour long flush down the toilet. So stage one, spiders in the water, had air bubbles, no problem, enjoying life. Storm appeared, whoosh, 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 mixed everything up, toilet flushing, whoosh. Spiders underwater, not a lot of air bubbles. Eventually the spider stops moving. And looks like it's floating in there good and dead. You poke it with a stick, nothing's happening, upside down, shake it around, no movement. This spider's dead, right? Within 15 minutes of removing this spider from the jar, laying it out on a plate, the spider revived itself. It was back twitching and wiggling and alive. No, it's not a zombie spider, it's a black widow spider. And this is why you should not flush spiders down the toilet. When you take a spider and you put it down the toilet and you flush it, number one, you'd have to make sure it actually goes down the drain because sometimes they'll be floating and they won't go all the way down the drain. Then they will crawl up and get you when you least expect it. But let's say you take all the precautions that you think are available. You flush it, you watch the spider go down, you flush it again, no spider in your toilet. Phew, I'm glad to get rid of that nasty old spider. So the spider's underwater, he has no air, he's drowned. Well, maybe when you flush something down the toilet, it goes down through the toilet, through the loop sail, and into your plumbing system, and eventually the sewer, the sewage treatment plant, the local rivers, lakes, streams, and then the ocean. And then how does it do? It evaporates up, turns to rain, comes in a cloud, rains down on top of you, and there was your water from your toilet raining down on the outside of your house. Back to our story. So depending on what's in the pipes underneath your toilet, are they completely full of water? Is there just water and sewage in there when you're flushing your toilet? That's the important thing here, because when you flush your toilet, that whoosh of water and waste will go down the pipes and in the drain system into the sewer and hopefully carry that spider away to somebody else's toilet. Yeah, that's something to worry about, huh? We'll just stay concentrated on our own toilet right now. So it carries it down there. If that spider does not ride that sewage down to the sewage treatment plant, let's say it grabs onto the side of the pipe, bam, there it is, out of the water and alive and well, living in the pipes under your house. And then that rascally little devil climbs back up the pipe, gets to the bottom of your toilet, crawls through that loop seal of water in the trap. The trap is really designed to trap sewage gases and smells and noxious fumes coming from the sewer system to get back up in your house. That's what the trap's for. It's not to trap rats, mice, or spiders, or snakes. So our ingenious little spider, he crawls back up the pipe, he sees the water seal, goes down under the water, comes back up in your toilet bowl, bam, there is that dangerous, deadly, or scary spider you just flushed down the toilet. This is why you do not flush a spider down the toilet. They can be underwater, it doesn't kill them right away. This is three hours. Some spiders, it, it was days. 
And it didn't matter that we looked at this spider and it looks 100% dead. It wasn't moving. We're poking it. It's not moving. It is dead for all practical purposes. Or so we thought. All right, so you didn't think you'd learn something this cool today on my channel. Number one, spiders are bad. I hate them. We all hate them. I get it. Number two, catch a spider, put it outside, not in your yard, maybe, you know, somebody else's yard. But anyways, get it out of the house and not too close to the house where it's going to walk back in. And number three, don't flush it down the toilet. Squish it, get it out of the house, do whatever you got to do, but don't flush it because it can come back in and you will be surprised because these are like zombie spiders. And this is a black widow. We don't need zombie black widows. Right, what do you think? Did you know this? Did you know spiders can be drowned and come back alive? I didn't. So, leave them comments in the comment section. And hey, I hate spiders and they're all over my house. Alright, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.